What's up guys, it's a car drives by, because what's more about the stream than cars and motorcycles? So, we are back with the second part of three, um, strikes here as it got dark all of a sudden, as it does now at night. Uh, so, let's kick it over to the players, see who's playing, meet the leader of tonight's second party, and go from there. So, as the intro music finishes, again provided by Fat Rat on YouTube, hi players, Hi! Greetings. Hello. Hi. Howdy. Who is the leader of this party? Raise his hand. So, who are you playing, gentlemen? I am playing Alexander de la Luz. The, Alexander de la Luz. The cleric of Pelor. Dwarven cleric of Pelor. With so, his big fluffy white beard. Someone has the Twitch stream that I can hear in the background. Who is currently in your party. Well, we've seen. We start with S Elliot, Sir, well, I think formerly Sir Elliot. The, do you want me to introduce him or do you want me to introduce him? Tell whatever you want. You are the leader. So this is Sir Elliot, the, El the dashing Eldritch Knight. And next to her we have Lilith. Hello, she's not going. I think she's a bard. Not coming. Oh, never mind. That was the old group. Be up to date, man. We have Grady, the cleric of Obed High, god, god of nature. Take a bow. Jocelyn, that's the bard. That's the bard. <laughs> what an introduction I get. The bard. Oh, hi, bard. And Sunny, the other clerk, with a little thing, a little extra to her. Whoa, whoa, we don't need to know anything like that. That's, yeah. That's a motorcycle. I'm going to disappear. Censorship! Yeah, we, we had to censor uh, the description. Sorry. So, the players have already boarded the boat. What about Oh, I boarded the boat, too. Uh, you, uh, Peppers. Yeah. Uh, you weren't here, so we, 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 we swapped you for uh, Spartans to play. Okay. okay. You, you, you forgot about me. You were, a you were after Grady? <laughs> okay. So. There is... Yeah, finally the, the little uh, druid that could. It's on the boat, nervously. Surrounded by a giant snake. As you snake's are, not coming. Snake's not coming. Um, snake is being left behind. Okay. For as, snake's safety. As you set off on the water. Uh, you're on your boat as you you, know, you take travel. Uh, has anyone actually been on one of these missions before? Gosh, he raises their hand. Been on what now? Been on one of the missions as the characters. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Jocelyn. You're all sailing as, as you get really close to the cliffside, and the boat is not slowing down. Full gusts of wind, 
as you guys are headed directly for the cliffside. Uh, Dustin should we, yawns. Should we be concerned? Dustin yawns. We should s- s- slow down, maybe? I mean, Crazy I'm, not, I'm not an expert on sailing. So, I mean, I might just be wrong. You never know. Yeah, yeah we're going the right way. Don't worry. I'm sure many of you can swim, right? Looks yeah. like we might need to. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> I can use my shield as a flotation device, I think. As you get in, you, at the last minute, see the small crevice that barely fits the ship as your ship pulls in to the rickety docks inside of this cavern system. Uh, the oh. first group has already made it and has already left as you guys are met by a few of the resistance fighters um, who come down towards the boat. What asking uh who's uh who's leading you all? I, I I wait for the car to go past and then I step forward. Say, hello I hold a hand out. He uh, he meets your your hand. There's a fair amount of dirt and gram on him. Pleasure to meet you, my name's Alex. We're here to find an alchemist. Oh, you're that one. Gotcha. This way. This, this, this is, is where uh, the cave is, right? Yeah. You're on the rickety docks. It look like they shouldn't be standing, but somehow are. Okay. In RP, I, I role playing as Elliot followed with them, but he's not going to be in this game. He's yeah. just going to be inside the cave. Okay. So you're led up. Now, those of you first time, there's three buildings um, inside it. Uh, for a moment, those of you with arcane abilities or magic items, note that they all go dead and then come back as you make your way inside the first building. Whoa. Does arcane include clerical? Oh, yeah. Okay. In that day. Anything magic, I just call arcane. Uh, divine divine magic also goes out in anti-magic fields. Um, if they lead you through, you can see where previously a number of refugees had, uh, had taken residence. It's not really been you know, maintained since because there's no need. Um, as they lead you up to a large kind of carved out of stone room with a massive table uh, also carved out of stone uh, we got a druid druid nature first roll for Irina dun 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 oh. you can tell it was definitely naturally carved not much past that. How about a nature cleric? Mm-hmm. Sure, upgrading. Nature's nope. beautiful. Same. So, as you guys make your way kind of around, then they're t- teaching, telling you to sit. Um, an elven lady uh, comes out, long red hair, dressed very in very fine clothing. Um, kind of steps into the room. Gives a nod to Sir Elliot, who she previously met. Gives a nod to back. Jocelyn, who she's seen before. Oh yeah, a nod back. Gives uh, an actual, almost formal um, curtsy to uh, Redneck Elliot, who's probably on his way towards like the outside. Yeah, yeah, hold your horses. I'm gonna get my jerky. It's in your room. And she looks back <laughs> to all of you. She goes... I am Salna Blackmount. They simply refer to me as Salna. A pleasure Hello to meet there. you, Miss Salna. Uh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Immediately, her gaze goes directly to Ariana. She shrinks a little. She, she makes her way over. Who's sitting next to Ariana? Sunny. She looks. She looks says, probably oh, Grady, actually. Well, Sunny was the first one, so Sunny's on one side, Grady's on the other. Grady can be on the other side. That's fine. And she looks to you and looks to you, Sunny, and says, uh, "Move one, please." Yes, ma'am. As Sunny does, she sits next to you, and she leans on the this large stone-like table. 
and looks you dead in the eyes. And why are you here then? To, to help. And and what help are you going to do when you are terrified, child? What? what? T terrified? Look at you. You're stuttering. You're unsure of yourself, and you're afraid. You're you're, you're wrong. I, I, I uh, Then speak uh, with confidence, girl. Let's hear it. Find something. Find that backbone of yours. Sunny kind of looks to her, smiles, and nods. It's okay. She, uh, she gulps. <laughs> um. <sighs> <laughs> um, I. E. Yeah. Alex kind of looks at Sunny and be like, "Let her do this by herself." Shh. I'm not uh scared. I, I. The. This war is a danger to the nature. It is. I. You, sh you should have seen the countryside before. It was beautiful, lush, protected by the mountains. We made sure that we only took what we needed. We mined where we could. We didn't want to do any harm to the overall nature. They don't care. I wish to help in this war, too. To help save the the wildlife here. She nods and she looks to you. Uh, what race is? Are you, you're an elf, right? She's a full-on wood elf. How old? Uh, she's pretty young. She's actually fresh out of adulthood. So 110. Like 100, okay, 110. She, she as a, who is also a wood elf, looks to you and says, A bit of advice from someone who's lived a lot longer. Would you care for it? She nods. She looks towards... She looks to you and then looks to all the men at the table. She goes, We are not given the same respect at first as many of the men. We're thought of weak and dainty ladies and obviously our nature is generally of class. You have to work harder, even if you're better. Make your name for yourself, gain respect. And then, they look to you as a leader. I didn't start here, I fought tooth and nail for it. She smiles, nods her head, puts a hand on your shoulder, and then stands up. Her eyes widen, and she just nods. She comes to the center of the table and looks to all of you. Anyone who does not have full confidence in what they are doing today, the ship will be departing. You may leave now. Elliot just smirks at that notion. Alex is smiling, kicking his feet. In the I'm assuming his feet are like up off the ground in the chair. Bit, yeah, yeah. Sunny kind of just gets this determined sparkle in her eye and she smiles. You have to go after the alchemist, are you not? Yes, ma'am. Do you, what do you, what can you, can you help us find him? Uh, seeing that I am still a rehabilitating in hospital, I cannot act as your guide. Well. I meant, do you know where he is? Where he, where he is, or she? He or she? Northern end of the city. Uh, it was once a tavern, has been converted into an alchemist lab. I see. Hmm. And their name? The name of the alchemist is Lux Two Notes. Her name is Brianna Ashford. Brianna Ashford. Could you spill that? Alex, do you have a map? Please. Uh, 
she <laughs> chuckles and goes, uh, No, it, as you can see, we haven't exactly had the uh, best resources here. Probably should have gotten one back in Paris. What do you know of her personality? Do you know what might anger her, what might gain her favor? Uh, she's a bit eccentric. Eccentric how? She's not Shadow Fae. Ah. She's just skilled. And the Shadow Fae have less qualms about experiments compared to, well, the previous administration, as we call them. I see. Apparently, she was found by one of yours. All along? And a little bit of pr promise was seen in her, and the same offer was extended to her, which was extended to your assassin. If that is the case, then why are we being asked to convince her? Why not? Because if we can convince her, then we can gain whatever she's known and try and counteract it. She can show us her experiments, and she can prove that she can cure her own plagues. Plagues. Plagues? And that is to the best knowledge what we are finding. We've seen bodies pulled out that are horribly mutated. Almost oh. as if death has been ridden through them. Oh. It's very unnatural. That, that's horrible. Mm. In a demonic sense, or... It, she has no gift of any sort, other than alchemy. She is, she is not a good warrior. She, is, she has no arcane capabilities. She's just good at mixing and gaining reactions. We are unsure that we'll be able to find items to counteract whatever she's created and distributed if we do not have her. She has made no notes. Everything perhaps is inside her head. Perhaps a light mind can Someone who knows of nature of the alchemical balances. Unfortunately, this is not me, but... Sonra kind of gives a roll. Flattery is always a good tool. Indeed. I, I always use flattery on Niski to get him to do, some, do something. I will dazzle, dazzle her with the light of Paylor, and certainly she will come with us. Oh, I'll try my best to be as persuasive as I can, the bard says with a smile. Hopefully we can banish any and all of darkness in, within her heart and convince her to come with us, she says, looking at Alex. Salna looks very serious with all of you. Uh, I will take her head once we have the cures. That's understandable, what she's done we so can, far. We, can, we cannot allow someone who can create stuff like this to go on. Take, take her to a different continent, lose her and not know what her face looks like, and the amount of havoc that lady could wreak is next to none. Agreed. So we should I tell her about against that. nature. Understand, Und understand that if you bring her back here, she will work on the cures and I will kill her. That's understandable. That is my end of this. If you wish for any other outcome, then you will take her somewhere else and get her to work on the things. I am not caring specifically how you get her to give us the information, only that we get it. And if you cannot get it, she is to be killed immediately. Understood. Okay. What will happen if we are, we do fail in that regard with we aren't able to get the information. What will we do about the plagues? Then we... And when encountering them, will not have a chance to either protect innocent lives or not. We will have to destroy them all. 
Because they're against nature. Because they threaten more innocent lives. Such darkness. I will endeavor to do my best to bring the light back. Very well, then. You have a druid waiting for you. Indeed. Would the king happen to know which part of the... Which part of the... No, no, where no, he would be? He basically uh, told you in the northern. You don't know that. She wouldn't know that. That's up. You had to uh, the droid. Okay. A pair of guards comes down and leads you out, out as you guys emerge, basically from the side of a mountain, along a, a very tiny path that leads you down towards the forest below. Uh, at which point you see a furblog druid sitting there, up leaning up against the tree, staff. Leaning against the tree as he slowly stands and looks at all of you. With Funny bows and greeting. Oh. Just waves. Hello. Nods again. Hello there. Nods. What is your name? Uh, he grabs into a pouch and grabs a number of seeds and they begin to sprout. And the sprout sh uh, forms the name Besh. Oh. <laughs> He blinks. Nice. They, they nice. Form, form into flowers? Yeah, they, they kind of f form the vines, form the letters, and then they sprout with flowers. She'll very pick, impressive. She'll pick one of the flowers and she'll put it in her hair. He smiles. And mind you, a fur blog is, is a uh, is, is half giant. It's a half giant. Oh, yep. I think I've, I've met this. I met Bash before. Yeah, you met Bash. Ross is old character. Yeah, Ellie just waves favorite. a hand. He smiles and nods. They're beautiful. Sunny looks like a flower. He motions towards the tree. Is this how we'll be getting back to? He like looks to you and kind of gives you a yeah, but not from here. <laughs> kind of look. Before we press Obviously on, you'll be getting back through like transfer via plants, but not like not this specific tree potentially. Okay. Before we press on, I should give you all guys advice if you want to heed it. If we are to capture this alchemist and we need to take her back to Penrith to work on such cures, we should offer her either working at the guild or working at the the shop in Penrith, the one that works with herbs. Ah, the herbalist. That, or not. that might pique her interest if she is interested in such things. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So. Mesh puts his hand on the tree as the bark peels off forming an archway which lights up with this green light and you can see a nice lush field on the other side of the portal. Oh, it runs through. Ooh, ah! Sunny bows and basically sprints through because she's a monk and that's what they do. Aaron so. will hug Mesh and then go through. Okay. Aww. Grady would follow. As the last of you make it through, the portal on the other side of the tree, you see, you know, the same portal. It all of the the bark slowly recede back to the tree in form, showing the tree whole again, with no no sort of indication that any harm has been done to the tree. Very nice. And you guys arrive outside of Lysa. You should be able to see Alex's token towards the north end. You are in a lush field. Uh, you can see some houses on the outside and some roads. Most of the houses look pretty abandoned outside. You see about a 15 foot wall with watchtowers in different areas. You can also see in the far distance as the setting sun, the gatehouse. Well, if the Shadowfair are under control here, we may have problems actually getting in. Yeah. How are we going to get over the wall? How tall are they? 15 foot. Yeah. If they're not full, like they're, they're enough to be, you know, where you can't just run up and hop the wall. But they're, you know, they're no, like, this is not siege, you know, siege built city. All right. As, as they're talking, Elliot's going to pull out a couple of pittons and secure a rope. And Just then a he... second. Are the 
The trees 500 feet of each other. Are the what? The trees. Can we see trees in inside? The trees. Um, give me a perception check. Okay. Um, looking at the wall, is there any guards patrolling the center part? Uh, since it's still you're still early enough in the day, there is. Uh, you can see the other couple seem to be moving around. Twenty six. So you're looking. I'm, I'm guessing you're trying to do street tree stride. Am I correct? Yes. Um, on a twenty six, you find a tree within five hundred feet on the other side of the wall that you believe is big enough. That I can get as past the wall with no problem. Okay. Uh, that, that's perfect. Awesome. Let's go. He puts his rope away and puts his. So, Grady puts his hand up. Oh, let's see. I will. I will say you, this is a single person ability. I believe, but I will say for the context of this and it being a really good plan, that Grady concentrates, and because he is seen for the first time in his life. A temple of open high. His, he's so excited that he's not thinking he can only take himself. His medallion oh. glows in a green light, as he normally sees this small green shimmering doorway, which allows him to move. And, Ariana, you are you are familiar with the spell. Oh yeah, she has it. You see his doorway. You've never seen. You've seen other people do it. You've never been able to see his doorway. She would cover her mouth and she'd be like, her eyes wide. She she's excited a little. All of you see the doorway. Ooh, pretty. Go and be quiet on the other side. All right, let's sneak into sneak into the tree. Um, I'm I'm gonna take one of the blankets that I probably have on my bedroll, or okay. take it out of my bag of holding. And I'm going to wrap it around my entire body of armor and try to make like a makeshift cloak. Okay, you're not trying to do it for stealth purposes, you're trying to just do it for... Trying to do it so I don't stand out. <laughs> okay. So all of you make your way through the tree for this one time only. Grady is able you. to tree stride all of you. It's a good idea. And, you know, there's enough reason for a little bit of help that you all exit the tree. Tree striding for the first time in some of your and only time in your lives. And you know, look Upon me. entering the tree, immediately you can see, you see just a forest. Very close together. Almost like it's too close for the distances. But you can see the tree and you see doorways in each of them. Each of these trees. But you immediately watch Grady go, and he's like like he's going to beeline on. He knows exactly what tree he's going to, and they all go. <coughs> Following through, coming out on the other side. As you come out on the other side, the ground shakes violently. That's not good. As you look up and towards the horizon, you see a massive I don't want to square. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> yeah. You see a massive arcane detonation go off. <gasps> That's... Don't, don't just want to tell me. She kind of just says... And shockwaves soft. begin rippling out from it. She, she just kind of says softly to herself, James... Foul. Brace yourselves, and then Elliot rushes behind a tree. Away, that's facing away from it. Irina will go behind a tree. Yeah, Josh and go behind the tree. Same. Same. Wait, what are we? Oh, I get. I guess I go after them. Confused. The shockwave seems to dissipate before it hits any of you. 
But you can see the damage is done to the buildings and nature in that general area and subsequent areas past it. That was... Give me perception checks. As you guys would be looking in that direction. Oops, still under mm -hmm. jam. I'm sorry. That was pretty cool. Um. Alex, you're the first to kind of gain this vision. Mm -hmm. That part of the city that was there when you first saw it is completely gone. There is a crater about a mile to two miles wide. You're not quite sure from this distance. Wow. Everything is gone. That was a big explosion. I wonder what caused that. Gosh, and blinks. She looks really sad right now as she just continues looking at that explosion. Sunny kind of walks over, kind of tight lipped and puts her hand on Jocelyn's shoulder. Have faith. I'm sure they got out somehow. Out of character, I'm confused to why you would even think to know that they're there. But well, because you knew Jocelyn, been. Jocelyn's brother was there. The, the okay. southern of the city was was the. I mean, it's the arcane research. They were the first group to go in. Okay. It would be easy enough for you to put that two and two together. Okay. All right. The other group's kind of probably arriving now. The last group you're there, so you know, at, back where you guys transported from. They're staggering you. So you're not all hitting at once. Uh, Irina and Grady, I need nature tricks from you. As we're doing that, Alex will just... Okay, well, oh, let's do yeah. what we... <coughs> do... Oh god, my throat. <coughs> let's do what we need to do. Grady, what would I race you? Uh, half hill. Okay. You hear... Small voices, greeting. Joyful. Happy. And as you look around, you and Marina looking at the nature, as, as you would, some of the trees don't look quite right. They're not, nothing's wrong with them. They're just, they're not native to this area. Is that where the voices are? Those areas, yeah, those pockets of trees, yeah. Hello? Gee, what is that? He's not, he's not Faye, is what you hear. Uh, excuse me? Uh, I... She's, she's a druid. And what are the other voices? But is she a good one or a bad one? I can't tell. Who are you guys talking to? You can hear the voices, too. All of you can hear the voices. I'm not oh. bad. They just I'm notice good. things are wrong. I'm a good druid, it's okay. We are agents of flight, we come to help you. You fraud it, you get here. She, Jocelyn just motions for everyone to just, like, she does a little, like, singer to her mouth thing, tell everyone to shush it. And she just whispers, and very softly, don't say it. What? The voice was whispered back to Jocelyn. You kind of just did. She, she nods, looking around. You, you think these trees are... Can you come out and say hello? You see a small figure. Like a miniature person with wings. A small elf with wings. Hmm. Land on one of the branches. Grady. And yes. uh, Irina. It's, it's, it, easily, you identify this. This is a pixie. Irina's eyes widen. Does Irina know exactly what pixies are? I don't know if they're like trickster like. No, or... no, it depends on them. Depends on the pixie, but some can be tricksters. Most are, are harmless. Would she recognize them as the trickster kind? No, these or... are these are just kind of your normal run no pixies. Inquisitive, right. fun loving uh, people. Alex will hold a hand out. Hi, my name's Alex. Pleasure to meet you. This place isn't right for you, he points to Alex. Who else is not of Elwyn descent? Sunny. 
Who are you? Points to Sunny. Ashlyn tilts her head. Grady, based on your nature, you realize these odd trees, whatever that arcade explosion was, has really messed with the barrier between planes. Parts of these are Feywild. That's interesting. Okay. And you realize immediately that two of the members of your party are not of Elvis' descent. If they were to wander into one of these Fey areas, there could be repercussions. Oh. We have to stay away from the trees. Go Darn. around. How come? Because this is the something happened and now it's the fey what well it's intermixed would we know what kind of repercussions would happen uh roll me an arcana check justin okay and, irena, uh, no. irena and um grady can also roll me arcana checks i am rolling well today could i not roll one uh elliot you already know it's really it. uh, okay we're fine you, uh, you in character already know uh, Grady, you realize there could be temporary memory loss to complete amnesia. It is uncurable in almost all sorts of things. They could lose, they could lose minutes, seconds, days, years, everything. I will look to this the creature and say, "Can you come with us? Possibly." Right. Do you say this to us, Grady? Yeah, I tell you that it's dangerous to you lose your you if you see. to guide us away from the danger. And as you seem to know where these areas are. I'm in my tree. I've been here all day. You guys are the ones that are weird. You're over there, I can see you. Well, maybe... They must have been dragged here with the explosion. Then. Right. Yes, oh, but Grady. if you, Grady, you come with us. Your nature, like, uh, can you lead us properly uh, uh, around? Please. Arena is also Arena and Sprites also have things to say. It sounds like. What is it? She asked Sarah. Well, maybe since we're not supposed to be here, maybe you can lead us out to where we are supposed to be. Not not like, not like as in out out, but like maybe out of the woods parts. Kind of cocks his head to the side. Elliot, you were saying to him. I was uh, saying, if you can help us, we're trying to find more of these fey trees that you that you're in. If you can show us which ones are which, that'll be very much appreciated towards us. Possibly we could reward you for something. The second one pops up on the of the tree. A male, not a female this time. We could make a deal. What kind of deal? Deals are always good. We help you. You, uh, you give us something. We make a deal. And it sticks out his hand. Elliot pulls out a vine black mask from his uh, bag of holding and shows it to the thing. And says, "Would this be something that you're interested in?" He puts his hands on his hips. You offer me a child's mask when you're carrying any emotions to all of you. All of that magic. He puts it away, then pulls out a marble monsters ma a marble monster set that, and he shows it to them. It basically every time you come across a creature of whatever the set the marble set is, it glows red. The Doctor of Pepper donates fifteen dollars. What is that all for? Just uh, peppers. Just so I'm uh, I make sure I know what you're uh, wanting in there, bud. Just uh, type it out in chat. Uh, I also need to send a uh, DM here. And, you know, he kind of pulls his the pixie, and you see a couple more appear, and they begin to chat yeah. amongst themselves. They're, they're discussing the offer. 
There's a uh, there's 25 figurines, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, they're um they're discussing it. Alex is looking around, see if he can spot any. Nothing's just trying to keep an eye out for guards, etc. With the monster. <laughs> With the area, you, you realize that from the Fey, or at least part, the part of the Fey, there's a heavy fog that's kind of drifted in and is pretty much giving you guys a a heavy obscurement from, like, outside patrols. Hey? Is it also dark out? Everyone has a nap 20 from Mr. Peppers. Thank you. Yay. Wunderbar. And I need to see... Uh, I need to read that whole thing, Fallen, so a second. Uh, and I think you have two night 20s after Fallen. Uh, donations, donations, donations. And one extra one for Elliot because he has a Vine Blight, uh, vine blight Bask, which makes for Bogle. So, so Elliot has three and the rest of you have two. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. I literally do have this on my character sheet. I know you do. Do you say anything there, Grady? To the party as they're discussing this? Because you did roll well enough. Would I be able to take us through without getting into any of the pockets? Yes, yeah, yeah, as long as you're paying attention. Yeah. I can take us. You don't have to. It's nice. Well, immediately, you don't the, have to. upon hearing this, the male goes, Deal! We're going to make a deal. And he sticks out his hand and flies towards you. Elliot uh, offers half of them and says, you get the other half once we're through, as long as you help aid. Any motions to Grady, my friend, steer clear from what those pockets are. He, he, he nods and looks to Grady if Grady accepts. Yes. He whistles as uh, 12 of these fairies come and each grab one token because they're probably about their size. Elliot just, just notes and says... And he sticks his hand out to shake your hand, Elliot. Elliot holds out his hand and shakes it. You feel a strange sensation course through your hand. And it's a pact, he says, and lands on Grady's shoulder. Is this, is this familiar to me? Because I've already been through two of these with Elliot. This is, this is a fey pact. Breaking okay. up grave consequences on you. All right. Because it was him too. It's a two-way pact. Him leading you directly into danger intentionally would would put him in harm. He nods and places the other half of the figurines away. Mm -hmm. Then we have a deal. Hey, he looks to uh, to Grady. So where are you going? Uh. We can see the Alka, or used to be able to see the Alka people. Yeah, hey, you can kind of guess. You know your direction. Okay. We know it's in the northern section of the city. That's what we were told. Oh, okay. Well, we're already there. We're already you north of the tavern. When you guys came Sunny, in, you can kind of see the tavern. Sunny kind of points to it. There. It's somewhere in that direction. Through the fog. Onward! Start walking. Right, so you guys begin to start, start walking. walking. And I need everyone to roll a stealth roll. Awesome. Oh no! With disadvantage. Does no one know oh, pass? Oh. Does no one know pass without a trace? No. Yeah, I don't know pass without a trace. I thought I did, but I didn't. I didn't double, it. Double Too 21s. Late. I got a nine, but I'm probably in the back of the well, middle of the group. Two of the pixies land on your shoulders in the kitchen. Go, you're loud. Yeah, he opens his uh his his blanket and shows him his play armor. I know. Do you know what happens if you're loud in the Feywild? No. No one says death. Uh oh. <laughs> Elliot just nods and smirks and says, I know, I've come across an Oni before. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But you're not being hunted by one right now. Thankfully. Well, he's being he hunted. What the one's us? By what? 
Oh, just just cats. Oh I, no. You broke up. What did they say? Just cats. Mm, big ones, tentacles. Really hard to see. Jocelyn shudders. There's oh, like no. twelve of them following him right now. They point towards the, they point towards a couple of the uh, the rifts. Oh dear. Oh, just they're following me. Yeah. I'm gonna stray away from the group a little. You get pulled on one of your ears as you start to stray. Okay. I, I, the deal I, is, I, we don't run, walk you into Fey, and he, they point as you're heading towards a Fey tree. Okay. He just he nods. And they says, start. They start steering you by pulling on your ears. <laughs> <laughs> Much amusement, lighting even the darkest of places. And then all of a sudden, as you get about three quarters of the way across, they both pull they pull in your ears at the same time. You should oh. hide now. And they Where? both fly away from you. Uh, are we out in the middle of the field or is there trees? There's, there's trees and brush. I'm and going you see to... Them, you see them both fly towards fey trees, because you, you, you spot them, and they go into the bark and down into the trees. Is there any non fey right. trees? There's so plenty of fey, non fey trees around, yeah. It's like because a yeah. forest. Yeah, it, jo Joshua would try and hide in a not fey tree. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're not like directly next to any fey trees. Like, Elliot's like, gonna like, missy like, step on, up into a tree. Okay. Are there like, bushes around? Yeah, there's bushes. I need everyone to roll me stealth now. Good. <laughs> Mark out the spell slot. Natural one. Being a druid, she is. Mm -hmm. So just. I rolled the twelve. The twelve. I know I'm, I'm up in the tree. You see, when these fey trees collapse over and into the material plane and land, you can see the barrier clearly as it snaps and passes through it. It's still a fey tree, so it slams into the ground. Elliot. Yeah. You stare right at it. Give me a perception. Oh god. They're all the me. The ground shakes slightly. It shakes again. Um Grady and Grady actually yeah, Grady and you're in a roll me perceptions as you look try and look through the portal. Okay. Elliot's pulling out his shield. Mm -hmm. And in Grady, you see something massive. Something truly fey. And something that almost... It's natural for the fey. But something up... It, something just creeps up your spine. A feeling of dread and terror. Elliot, I'll let you make another check as a little time has passed, and you are the closest to being able to identify what the hell this is. Wow. Not your day, man. Can I use a net 20? <laughs> <laughs> I got three of them. I might as well use one. From the portal emerges a some near 65 foot tall figure twisted but natural with parts of it growing almost like trees small shrubs out and the eye is almost a burning green as it looks and just simply what looks like a, a almost like a mask like a wooden carved mask and you don't see a, you don't see a, uh, a mouth you just see like almost two nostrils with the green burning eyes wood color pattern and bits of you know fauna growing out of it it slowly starts turning its head towards Alex and all of a sudden the bottom of this mask unhinges showing these massive teeth and it just speaks in Sylvan who understands Sylvan uh Elvin, oh no I don't I have, have Sylvan armor. if only Saris were here so only, the only person that understands Sylvan is Elliot? Apparently, yeah. Apparently, Irina. 
doesn't oh, he knows does. a language? No, knows a language but doesn't understand it. You know someone but don't understand it? She has Oh no, never mind. I lied. I, I can understand at something it. and I mm-hmm. never mind. She you just, just can't speak it at all. You just hear You have wandered into my domain. I see one. I see two. I see three. Three souls for the queen. I shall tear them from your bodies. And just starts making lumbering slowly. Eyes locked upon Alex. Um, I don't understand. Sorry, Elliot. I'm kind of. Elliot is gonna yell out and say, "Run!" Running. I Would can't. I I, oh, run! Oh, oh, okay. Run. run. Would I be able to steer up? Pretty. At a, you at a understand run. this, okay? Now you understand what this thing is. You're sure, um, Ariana. You're also sure. This is a greater fay. It's not. It's not quite on the power level of like the Queen of Night and Magic. This is something Elliot has fought before, and yeah, this is why I'm running. killed hundreds of people. And he just says to run. Everyone, make immediate athletics checks. This thing <laughs> this is, is in full uh, pursuit. <laughs> this is Elliot. Well, if he like doesn't run, he run. Freak out of it. Well, there is not enough. There is not enough. You would be. Risking getting lost in the face, honey. Oh, That's the only problem with that, uh, uh, acrobatics here. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Arena okay. is not meant for strength. As they all start running, you know, you, uh, you know, Alex scampering up from like the one bush he was hit behind, um, which was just like a blade of grass, and <laughs> everyone else starts running. Arena shivers for a second that that actual fear that was spoken about that she wanted to deny seeing something this natural and this powerful for the first time her gaze lingers on it too long she catches a tree a tree root and goes face down as this thing is closing in upon her you see its hand Can start I... to, hold on I, let me get to the end of the narration first you see this you see its hand Instead of reaching out, it's like vines grow around it, forming this massive scythe that it wants to plant through your chest. Can I cast banishment on it? You could try. If while he's doing that, can I run back? I'm gonna miss. Spend another third, second level spell slot to misty step in front of her and blo- try to block it with a shield. Okay. Uh, give me. It could be to get there, to run, to get there in time. It's going to be an athletics check again from you, Spartans. Um, I mean, you're, misty my... ste- you're misty stepping, so the DC is lower than it was before because you've already covered some of that ground. Okay? And then so... it's going to be a dexterity save to get it there placed in time. Okay. I'll roll the athletics. Okay. Uh, right, you're trying to banish? Yep. Since it's in our plane now, we should be able to send it back, hopefully. <laughs> you're not sure. Some of you are not and sure. You're not sure what plane she's in. Because I suck because I suck at dexterity checks, I'm gonna use my second net twenty. Okay, so you use your you use you, wait, you haven't used one already? I uh, this is this would be the second one. What was your first one? The perception. Oh, okay, gotcha. So you use your second one as you get there in time. Uh Alex, what mm-hmm. level are you casting banishment on? At? Uh, I need to see if it needs to roll. Let's do fifth. Fifth? Yep. You throw your hand out the light of Paylor beginning to just form. As you see it about to shoot out, its other hand comes up and just choo, takes it out, casts it at fifth. It casts all its spells at fifth. Sorry. Okay. You Let's see, see how dissipate. you get your shield up in time. What is your shield, by the way? It's a magical plus two shield. Okay. Roll from me. the war. Call me, dear. Call me lower high. I'm gonna roll a d two. 
Uh, there, there's hi. A, no, this one has an effect. This one is there's a reason to it. Yep. Hi. Oh, thank God. Impacts into your shield does not destroy it on contact. You block, oh. you block the blow. Um, give me another athletics check just to maintain your feet. Yeah, you're fine. You stand your your, your feet up. So, yeah, you see this. And at the last second, you, you feel like a hand on your shoulder as Elliot gets the shield up over you. And you see this massive scythe just get deflected at the right angle um, by Sir Elliot. What are you doing? Bro? Run! <laughs> You're literally grunting. Run! She'll get up and she'll go run, but before she runs, she'll cast Grasping Vines on it to okay. see if she can pin it back. Mm-hmm. Let me, uh... Just see something with this. Uh, Grasping Vines, it's any size, correct? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So make a dexterity save. Whisper save. For our area? No, for the creature. Okay. Now what's your DC, so though? Effect, you know? What is your the DC? DC? 17. How oh, I hope. Oh, God. D20. It has advantage because this is a magical effect. And you just see the grasping vine shoot out from that tree that you saw it come. As it just, you see it just snap across. As it goes for, like, this thing's torso, mm. you just see it mm. phase for a second. The vine miss and come back into reality. As it nat 20s. Ah! Really? Mm. No! Well, she's still running. Oh, no, I, I, I understand that one. <laughs> so, give me athletics checks, the two of you. The rest of you here are... Don't need to make a roll because there is enough distance right now between. Oh God! You have that twenty if you need to use. It. Oh, ah! that's horrible. They are, you know, and you guys. So what do the rest of you, you guys still running? Is they're running towards you? Or are you holding? What are you doing? Dawson would. I'm uh, holding. You can kind of yeah. see a, a couple hundred feet in the cities there. Joshin would hold until she knows for a fact that they're safe. Okay. Grady was saying, it "Keep is, running." It is making so Grady. Are you running? No, I would stop. Okay. And say, this thing is right on. It swings any dexterity save immediately from Irina. As it's swinging for you, it's close enough. You didn't beat a 10. It's close enough to make an attack on you. What? 17. You just kind of get that little, like, almost like spidey, spidey sense. It goes off that tells you to duck, and you just, you can feel the massive wind that kind of tilts you slightly as it just misses from taking your heads clean off. She'll make a small, uh, little noise of fright as she continues to run. Alex, you and the others safety. see this thing, its jaw just getting bigger, like it just wants to scoop her straight up. And it is a Just little tilt. It's form twisting to more and more deadly, um, you know, appendages. You see it sprouting out a couple more legs, almost not quite, you know, not quite a spider, but... A couple more to make it help it run quicker along the ground. Each of these things just slamming in and leaving holes in the ground. You realize that if it was to make contact and trample you, probably would kill you. Josh, I need, I need another athletic check no, from no. all of you, unless you're not running. Could jo I actually Jocelyn. Uh, uh, step into the wind and grab Aaron Rhina and then run? You'll be moving at half speed. If you have if you have the appropriate strength to carry her. She is not a halfling, remember. Josh. She's your size. Like, so this not so, pick her up, just grab her by the hand and start freaking booking it. May, may I Jocelyn, yes, you may. Uh you have an idea, you have an idea. Yes. Arcane hands to block it. And to and even if it's stronger, it'd still be slowed down a fair amount okay. and we can what run. Level's arcane hand? This. Fifth? Are you casting it at higher level? I will cast it at six. Uh, it, it won't have any benefit, but it, it, I don't know if... I'm not sure if this thing has arcane resistances or not. It just looks powerful. It does have arcane resistance. So I'll, I'll cast it at six and mark that spell slot off and I'll link the spell. Okay. You are lucky. Forceful hand. Or it does whatever. Not, it does not... is not able to counterspell you. 
the arcane hand is going to lower the DC for your flight. And I will describe what happens. So everyone, I already have new athletics from Elliot and Alex. And the athletics from everyone this? else. If you're going to do that, you need to mark it down. And you're going to roll athletics. Uh-huh. So do that. Oh my gosh. And now I'm going to ask... So you see Sunny running towards you, and she goes to grab your hand. Are you resisting? Are you? What are you doing? Are you letting her grab your hand and try and pull you? This has consequences or benefits. I actually was know. running away. Oh, you're running away. I thought you were grabbing yeah, the her. Walking, She's the she. You need to run towards her if you're going to grab her hand. If you're running away, you can no, run no, away. No, 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 no. I. The hand blocked the guy, right? So I'm. Um, well, you're not sure. You're seeing, at this point, you're seeing Jocelyn cast a spell towards it. You have no clue yeah, what he's doing, what she's doing. Bucket. Okay, you're running. So, and you kind of make it past Jocelyn as this hand goes up. Jocelyn, you turn and run. Sunny, you are running so quick, you tumble. Wait. Roll. And, but you're, because of Step of the Wind with your bonus movement, you're far enough ahead where this one doesn't hurt you. Nice. Jocelyn, the hand comes up, gets in front, and it cuts through the hand in a blow. However, it did slow it down. I need one final athletics check from all of you to get into the buildings. Before And Sunny, you're at disadvantage, because you're currently prone at the end of your run. Man, I was going to ask if I could acrobatics it to sick the landing, but okay. <laughs> Not on a five, dear. Oh, God. The dice Remember are in my we... favor now. Crap. Have a... I'm gonna not okay. I'm gonna... No, you're not. You have to call it before you roll. Oh, dang it. Okay, so the following people I'm are gonna... fine. Elliot, Jocelyn, Irina, and Alex all get in. Grady, are you not twinning? Yes. Grady's in. Uh, dear Sonny, everyone runs by you as you can't seem to get to your feet. You know, feet just digging through the mud as you try and get up. I need a deck save as this thing is coming down at you and you just need to get there. You just roll out of the way of this into the buildings as you see as you guys make it into this alleyway you hear a and there's a couple arrows and stuff being shot towards this thing as it kind of course corrects and makes its way into the city. As you might have as you might know the Shadow Fae may have fought one of these, one or two of these, in their life. And these things may have murdered hundreds of Shadow Fae. Elliot's gonna take a breath and put his shield away, and he's gonna look like he's out of breath and just look to everyone. Next time, simply just run. Where the hell did those creatures go? Remember the Pixies. Keep your pack with the Pixies. The Pixies kind of show up and go, We didn't direct you towards danger. You brought it to you. <laughs> Looking at Elliot. He he just holds up the rest of the figurines. Uh, you know, they, they show, and they wish you all good luck. And they, they, one, one lands on Alex's shoulder. You want to make sure your cover's bigger than you, buddy. Okay? Taps you on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Good luck. <laughs> Jocelyn. Yeah. Irina, first. Irina will look to Elliot embarrassingly. And she's just like, I, I'm so sorry. Don't be. Consider yourself very lucky, because one of those things took out the great sum of adventurers around us, but luckily they were all brought back. I'm very lucky. I'm very thankful. I need everyone to roll me perception. Josh, Josh will just do an inaudible sigh. I rolled eight. Sunny Grady. And Alex. Is, as everything, and there's. And Arena. There's, you know, most. The rest of you hear, you know, sounds of you know, arrows clinking and, and horns and stuff like that. Uh, you know, rallying horns, stuff like that. Kind of alert horns. Um. 
the rest of you can hear screams across the city as more than just this forest was probably the barriers weakened in a couple of these dark greater fays have uh, probably found their way to this plane okay we need to act quickly we need to go now we should use this we should use whatever this distraction has caused for us to rush in and get her out, and we could possibly use this as leverage. Exactly. That's right. Yes. That's exactly right. Let's go. Where are we? I say, look, peek out the alley. We look around, see if I can where see. Where are we? Room. Are we at our death? Where are you? You ask. Crap. Uh, dark vision for for my token, please. Uh, are we heading dark down vision. or are we heading up? So. You are, you are pretty much on a path. Don't worry about it. You'll figure it out. Okay. What race are you? Human. Well, I no. I mean, like Human. I got it cast on me. By who? Uh, uh, Root. Before he left, I think. Root Valley. doesn't have it. No. No, Root. Root's a fighter. Who's Root? No, I mean, not Root. Uh, what's his what's his bucket? Uh, Sumter. Or Sumter. So Sumter has okay. I'm gonna go look at what Sumter's is, <laughs> What's his bucket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's his bucket? Yes, Sumter. No. Nope. Very it, helpful. It was said in the war room OC who we cast stuff on. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna ask you right now. Who did he cast? How many? How many? Uh, so I know three already. It was only cast on three from what he said in the war room OC. Okay, yeah. so here's here's something better. Right? None of you have dark vision. Because Sumter doesn't have it on his sheet. Nice one, guys. Nice. I don't know if he's mistaken he didn't put it on there or not, but what I'm hearing he's casting almost every one of his spells, and we're only in the second game, then I have to go and look. Uh, you're an elf, so you have yours here, Anna. Yes. But you're in terms in of it, Sunny mm -hmm. and Jocelyn, I, I don't. I, I can cast light. Like, I well, can okay, Sev, if I, Sev, if I may. Can we say that Oshia has cast a dark vision on two of them? He can do it twice. He has two sec second level spell slots. These, the, I'll, I'll allow for this one. For this. Mm -hmm. But anyone going in the third game... They do not have dark vision. They do not have a way to cast dark vision on themselves. They do not have dark vision. Period. Understand? Remember, your sheets okay. are your responsibilities to keep up to date. And casting things pre should be sent to the DM who can approve or deny it. Understood. So, you find yourself in an alleyway which, Elliot, you can see down here. You came through. This is There's a building here, but pretend it is an alleyway that goes this way. That is where you guys have come through. And so we're control. going... We came from down? There's... I, I have marked... Uh, I have kind of closed off the buildings that are of no importance and will just look like there's no entrance to them. Okay. All right, lead the way, sneaky people. Josh, Josh motions for the for the guy with a bunch of armor on to, to go forward. Sir Elliot. He's not quiet though. I don't know okay. if any of you are actually quiet. Not really. No. So you, you might just need to put the guy with the best AC in the front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Am I going the wrong way? Yes. I've only got an 18. Oh, okay. So he's taking at the front. Well, remember, you took you took over Pepper Spot. So. Sonny switches me. Okay. Well, just, just, you know, when Elliot moves forward to square, then Alex moves forward. If you want to go second. Yeah, just because I have I'm the second highest. I think I have the second highest. 
I'm gonna start opening enemy sheets because they'll eventually be needed. Which way are we going? Through the buildings or through the alley? Let's try the buildings. Stealthily. Yes. Okay. Stealthily. I'm gonna attempt to be stealthy. Oh god. What'd you roll? I rolled a 13 because I have a disadvantage. Oh my gosh. Is Chainmail disadvantage? Oh my gosh. Yes, it is. It's heavy armor. Yep. And I got a nat one. Grady clanks his way towards. Oh, we are not stealthy. <laughs> so, what, what's the loud conversation are you having? Are you guys going, shh, way too loud? Over and over again for each other? Probably not. Oh boy. Jo Jocelyn just looks miserable as she will. The highest out of all of you. Is this door like wide open, Seth? Yeah. Okay. It's kind Elliot of broken just in, too. Step in. Yeah, I'm just gonna move up that way. Does this look like the alchemy lab? No, it just looks like a building that was kind of abandoned. You know, you see, you see, like, like beds, like you know, makeshift beds and stuff thrown around. You see trails of blood. And uh, give me a perception check. Tell me what the number is. I'm opening sheets. Twenty-three. You see what looks like some shackles, some that look like they've been melted through as well. Melted. Mm hmm. Can I walk over to the shackles and see if I can decipher what what melted through it? Uh, sure. Would it be Arcana? It would be an Arcana, yes. Oh, I rolled a 12. Can't, can't pinpoint it for sure, sir. Oh. Someone's mounted through these shackles by what I don't know. Now we're gonna go through that room. Any motions back to where uh, Alex is standing? Or are we gonna keep going straight this way? Any motions to the staircase in front of him? Great and Aaron, uh, uh, nature trick, please. We lost Starry, apparently. She can come back unless. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Arena, what would you want? Twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five. Arena. Something... Something happened. Not sure what. I felt a weird nature thing for a moment. My nature senses are tingly. But then it was gone. Like an instant. The only time that you've... Actually, you've never encountered it, so I can't say anything. Sorry. A different spell. The hmm. arena will look around. By the way, uh, she has a passive perception of 24, just letting you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, she'll just quietly... So we lost Starry? Look around, she's like, Grady, did you, did you feel that? There was a little no. bit but nothing, no. nothing to notice. Nothing out of ordinary. It was the, what was the feeling? It was like, just different, you never, never felt it before. It's just, like a certain nature. Had... just felt something odd. Just something nature-like, but it's not there anymore. Well, let's keep going. We'll look for it. Oh, 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 okay.
Yeah. Which way are we going? I don't know. Which way leads out? Oh, I was asking. Why? Josh, it's around, and I, I personally think we should go down. Just see what you see. It's a room. There's a couple of doorways over here. Uh, there's actually no doorways in this room. It's just a, oh, okay. It's, just, it's a stone wall. Like I said, I need to use a map and make the best I could out of it. Then I will... I guess you see a... there's a, a stone wall all the way across. There's stairs that lead up, but upstairs looks like it's in not great shape. There's like a, it's a table with some chairs. Looks like where you cook food. Downstairs looks like it's a bit flooded. Probably because of the shockwaves. Yeah. He's gonna explain this to Alex and then wait for his group to start moving up. Does anyone know where Starry went? She suddenly went offline. Yeah. She's not responding. Mm -hmm. Alright, you're man down right now. Wait, she's typing right now. It's worth her not it. Wi Fi died. Earlier coming with us to the right. Elliot, I think it's looking. Okay. Arena perception. I didn't even pass 24, right? Yep. Psst. Uh huh? It's back here. Sure, to see where the voice is. It's coming from like over here at the corner. Sure, quietly. If you want to take seats? Uh -huh. Sounds like one. You don't see it. It's hiding around the corner. Come here. She will peek around the corner. There's a small female pixie. Hi. Did you feel that? She nods. I, I did. Do you know what it is? She flies to like the top and looks, like takes her little hands and peers over and looks down. Yeah. What was it? They're waiting for you. They know where we... They know where we are. She nods. Oh, that's not good. I, I need to tell the others. Would you happen to know where a woman named Brigham Ashford is? She kind of does. I don't know anyone by that name. Oh. Where was she said to be in persuasion? She's an optimist. But where was she said to be? What was her location? Oh. She's uh, set up what? It's supposed to be, it's, it was supposed to be a ta 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 tavern, but it got set up as in some black lab. But it's, where, which is, it's scary over there. Give me a persuasion to try and convince her to look for you. Oh, she's not good at that. Thirteen. She looks back to you. Looks over there and... You don't... You can show us, but you don't have to go in, inside or anything. She you kind just... of flitters over the roof, sticking to its rear. You can still see her. And she points in that direction. So, like that. Okay, so... You can see. She flutters Is that a building? 
there's a building in between you and this other building. The building that your party's in mm -hmm. is between you and the area. Okay. Oh my gosh. I just had a jump scare. My, my cat was fighting again outside. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> um. So, so there's a building between of where she had pointed towards. Yep, and then she kind of flitters back towards the trees in safety. Be, be safe. Thank you. She waves. G guys! Yes, are you ready? Um, I don't, I don't think it's in this building. I, I think I know as the, one of those pixies came around and told told, told me where the uh where the al al alchemist is. She also told me that they're waiting for us. Let's get moving. Which direction? She'll point down that way. It's the next building over this one. Like, she'll go probably right here and she'll point. It, it's not th th this building's over yonder. There's no door over here, sub, right? No, there's no door at all. So then back over here we go. And if you go up, there's all wall in that room, too. It's not... It's it's the next building over. Not, 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 not this one. But there's also no street access to it. There is no street back there. Mm -hmm. You'd have to go back towards the Fey trees. Oh. And potentially deal with one of those things again. So, you went up, did you see a way across? The pixie wouldn't really... She, she just pointed in the direction. She didn't exactly... She said it's very scary there. So, you can continue through this building, or come up with a creative solution to your problem. I mean, there's, there's a really simple solution that one of you have seen. Mm -hmm. One person seen the simple solution. Go on, go to the top. Mm -hmm. no? Very simple solution. One of you has seen it. Nope, that's not. It was where you started. Uh, one of you seen it where you started. Uh, wait. Right. Um, that's all. That's my clue. How's okay. stream saw it? The uh, foul. I didn't hear you. I'm not foul, uh, Craig. I was wondering if there's a way across under the, in the water. Downstairs. Let's see if the base. There was water that led down no, stairs. I'm talking about the start spartans. <laughs> oh, yeah, you mean <laughs> Elliot starts this... double backing. <laughs> you mean this way? Yeah. The way I went the first time. <laughs> Alright. Are, are you going down and in? Let's go down and in. Give me a stealth check. Oh, I'm sucky at this. Not bad. 15. You make your way down and across. I rolled an 11. 11's enough. You're in a second to roll. Anyone else, you can go in in the direction. But right now, we're going to 
take it as it comes. So get in the order that you're going to go in. Alex is in the, this square right here. One in front of Alex is the first person going after the other two. Yep, fill in behind. There you go. Uh, stealth check then? Not yet, not until you cross. What about that? So, Elliot and Marina, you, you're the first ones to cross across uh, this small, little, like, kind of damp space. You know, water starting to come up to about your your mid calf um, through holes in the, you know, in this basement. Elliot just stares up, and what you can see at the top is uh, sort of this tavern esque location, but you smell things. And then you hear it's. I said no disturbances. Not not looking at you. Uh, over at the small like workstation. Elliot motions to Urena with the sands and motions there to like beckon her. She'll quietly take a step forward. And then whoever's next in line can follow through. Uh, Alex, stealth check. Oh, you already rolled. Disadvantage? Ark, you daft! I will have your head removed from your shoulders for interrupting my work. Or am I will not be pleased, neither will Damila. Still, not even looking towards you. Tomala. She stops for a second. That sounded like a question. Josh, let me self check. Roll you a car check? Okay. Yep. Oh. Thud. She turns. Two vials, the small little gnome, uh, kind of this uh, purplish hair up in almost like a beehive. It's got a couple white streaks in it, and she's got these big um, darkened glasses on that she she kind of moves up with her uh, forearm and just goes, none of you are supposed to be subjects. I could, yes. Come, C come. I have... I have so much I can show you. Come on in. Don't be shy. Uh, all across these tables, you see bodies in different sort of conditions. Yeah, Irina will be covering her mouth, eyes wide and with, a, with horror. Grady, you don't have to make a stealth check. I'm just going to put Sunny. We'll be there and I'll move Sunny at the back end of you. Can I get you a drink? She says excitedly. No, I'm not, not the, the thirsty, thank you. But it's the freshest water. I mean, look, it's coming up from the from the from the ground. Spring water, have, underground spring water. Do you have any idea what's going on on outside? Oh, let's see. Seeing that Svigard was an idiot, I would assume that you're here to take the city. And the, uh, the noises out there are fighting between the Shadow Fae and either what you've brought or whatever that explosion was. Arcane. You can never trust Arcane. It's just, it's so unrefined that people just, they don't understand. They think it's a gift. They don't understand it's powerful. We saw that there were uh, multiple greater phase, right? Yeah. She has no clue what a greater phase. You can, you look at her, she's got no clue what the, f she's never been to the Fae Wild. She has no clue what a greater phase is. You could kind of get that from just the look of her. You know, she's not really... She's not trying to hide stuff. Yeah. She, he just looks at her and says, So you've never seen a giant fey beast that comes through the plains and attempts to kill people and take their souls? She starts laughing. Not that she doesn't believe you, Elliot. I'm not going to make you a roll for that. She goes, Yeah. <laughs> that idiot severed the plains. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, when will they stop believing in magic? Oh, those idiots, they think they can do everything with a wave of a hand. It 
science. Science, that's, that's the real, it's the real future of races. You look pretty smart. Of course I am, dear. I mean, look, yeah. look at these, these, these creatures. They, they, they were once just, they were once people. I mean, at least they weren't burned alive. They get to live and eat for a little while and say their goodbyes instead of just being dragged out and burned in the night. A small, a small price to pay for the advancement of al alchemy and curing of worse diseases. Do you not think so? You said get them here now. What, I didn't hear you fully. Uh, uh, you said look at me in here now. Yeah, there's bodies in the room. Bodies are lining all these tables. Mm. Okay. Josh and often smiles just looking around. My, my, aren't we talented? Well, of course, I wouldn't be alive if I wasn't. I'm not Shadow Fay. Way too short and too pretty. Uh, I would have you to agree with you. They're, they're using your research to cause plagues? Oh, I don't know what they do with it. But I have no constraints on my research, which means I can attempt to cure plagues, start them, deal with all sorts of magical mishaps. I mean, I have this. She pulls out the small vial that's dark, almost the color um, of like a teleport. It's bright, bright blue. It's beautiful. She goes, this, this is a cure. A cure for what? The worst kind of magic of all. And that is? Untamed magic. No, we cannot hear you, Jen. Could I... I'm not sure if, considering Jocelyn has been affected, is, is always being affected by wild magic, I'm not sure if I would know immediately if she means wild magic or not. Mm -hmm. She kind of. Okay. Untamed is, is, a, is a synonym for the, the wild. She blinks a few times, nodding. So cool. Can remove all of its effects? What about tainted blood? Tainted blood? In which way? I mean, there's vampirism, lycanthropy. The lycanthropy one, while effective, is not finished. It's terrible. The first few poor werewolves. Oh, thought. I thought I'd cured them. Poor souls. Poor, poor souls. They were willing, though. They were very much willing. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Cool. Now, what would you do? Well, we'll go Alex, Josh, and then we'll give Elliot a second question. At least those okay. Sorry, I had to sneeze. These are the ones I'm, I'm hearing speak. Just to sneeze, okay, Josh. Um, um. What? Well. Okay, you're doing great. You have your work. That's great. But um, there's some big thing, big scary things. There's killing on board. It's not safe here. You should get someone safer, like with us. Alex says. And Josh and speak. Uh, yeah. Yes, it's much safer with us, and you would have more resources to do what you love to do most: your alchemy. She raises, raises a finger to the two and smiles to you. See, see, you say safer, but but there's a thing. If I go with you, right? All of those guards outside will think that I'm fleeing, and uh, I'll die too. You, I can, pro I, I can promise you, you will not die. Hmm, you can, can you? Interesting. Um, however, someone else has piqued my interest. What kind of, what kind of thing ails you, my elf? Well, we're here to get you. And if you do wish to know more, 
Possibly I can be of a subject to you of my own accord. But what is it to answer, dear? I mean, you shouldn't have this problem, but if, you know, you caught one or two things, there's many alchemical regions that can help you not burn when you pee. <laughs> I can assure you that's not what I'm about. Then pique my interest more than the STD I think you have now. Alright then. He places his shield away, pulls out his sword, and then he cuts his hand as his sword lights in flame. You're one of them. She takes a couple steps forward towards you. May I, uh, collect some of that? She holds out a vial. I need to test how far it is. How long it's been. She looks... She, he looks to her and says... She's holding yeah. out a vial. She's not even... You know, she yeah, yeah, yeah. An instrument. She's uh, non-threatening currently. Elliot, Elliot douses his, uh, his a flame, puts his, puts his blade away and says, only if you agree to come with us. <sighs> come with you. Return to have sauna. I would assume she's still alive. Uh, kill me. We Let's be honest. She we will. won't. She won't. We will be. Mm hmm. The bar doing a deception check. And then, in you may speak while he's. What if we don't take you to Zong? Maybe we can take you to. Say, uh. Penrith. <laughs> Penrith. You have the ability. To get me immunity in Penrith. Uh, I, I'm not sure that they would like my, we'll say, experiments. And looks around at the corpses. Like, these these corpses are pretty bad, man. Um, I'm sure there's other ways you can experiment without... I don't... Harming the people. I'll make you a deal. There's an ambush set outside for you. You give me his blood. I test it. While you deal with our immediate pursuers. And be successful. Prove to me of your worth. Let me see what... Uh, this dear chap's blood tells me, and then we may discuss, because I don't quite trust that one, and points to Jocelyn. Though, looks at you. Hmm. She gets down off her stool, walks over towards you, gets steps right up. Onto the, the table in front of you, Jocelyn. Steps onto one of the bodies. And gets looks gets right in your face. So about your height at this point. Okay. She looks right in your eyes. And stares for a moment. Another moment. <laughs> and then okay. steps down. Turns around. Steps back down on the chair. Walks back to, towards the, uh, the desk. And sits down. I already have the cure for what ails you, dear. Puts it in there. I don't even need that cure. Hmm. Are you sure? I'm not sure what it's given you. But I can see it running through. It's dying, <laughs> you know. What do you mean? Oh. You don't know. You are just merely... Experiencing one side effect. And there are many. And they don't last forever. What are these side effects? Without research, I couldn't tell you exactly, but other things will happen. You're arcane, dear. It will it will manifest in all sorts of ways. My insight if she's just trying sure. to yeah, because, yeah. 
Aaron have looked at Jocelyn uh, worryingly. She doesn't seem to be telling you any lies. It's of her belief. I mean, she is, and I, I state this whether she's accurate or not, she is biased against magic. I see. So, what you're telling us that if I give you a sample and take care of which direction is the ambush, you say? Uh, do know of this building. Uh, you may exit out the uh, and she motions right over here. You may exit out this way, if you'd like. Because I don't and think the other one's a door. Give me a second. You give your uh, word or, that you will come with us. Or, or, specifically, you can you can go that way and go through two doors. Either way, it's really a choice. Oh! Make sure you take first to take the head of that bitch. Please. Head of who? Oh, they call them some sort of enchantresses. Josh, oh. Ter uh, ter terrible creatures. What what do they do? Elliot just grins. Oh, they they turn you against each other. They control you. They they're nasty. Watch out for their blades. You should know. Thank mm. you Thank for the follow, Mapper. Just, just watch out for that. It's they, oof, nasty individuals. Of course, they're arcane. So if we do this, you will come with us? Oh. If you prove to me, yes. Yeah, she immediately starts pouring some of your blood into a couple of the things and adding a couple of different acomoth things. You're seeing your blood like light on fire. and Basically, she's able to, with your blood, recreate all of the rites somehow in front of you by pouring different alchemical regions. Huh. Onto them. That's interesting. Very much so. Very much so. You might not be hurt again. We heard you that time. Are we going? Are we going? Um, to... that's, can, I, can I incite her? Like, say, yeah, we all go with you. Mm hmm. You incite it. I'm gonna say anything she says. Well, same. You know, she is. She is definitely as she's talking to you now. While, while you're focusing on her blood, she's half paying attention to you but you know it seems like it hey if you she's like hey you're offering me research not to turn me over to Selma and to potentially get me diplomatic community or make sure that I don't die and be able to continue my research hey you can kill the, the backtrackers she doesn't have to live under this whole you know if she stops being useful she'll probably be burned alive it's a little bit better of a, a situation can I ask her one more can I ask oh. her one more question? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, um, I would like to ask her, and how do you know that this is affecting me? I can see it in your eyes, dear. It's small. If you stare quick enough and look fast enough, look past and look for the change. There's a hint of that magic still crackling around your irises. Elliot, Elliot glares, glares into Joshua's eyes and just says... Give, give me an investigation check. <laughs> okay. okay. As, she, as he's looking into his eyes... She, she closes her eyes. She here still have a chance to look at it. The DC's a little <laughs> different, but yeah. Uh, uh, investigation at perception. Oh. You are examining... <laughs> it's okay. I'm really good at this, too. Ha-ha! <laughs> you see just a... Just a a hint of a blue, but not enough to, to confirm it because it closed, she closed her eyes so quickly. But just a hint. So do you believe there might be something there? He just looks to her and, and says... Actually, no. He looks to her and slaps her on the shoulder and, and says, uh, Well, if you look into my eyes, you can see that it's clear as day. Mm -hmm. His eyes are different. Really? Yeah. yeah, my eyes are yellow and they look like cat eyes. Yeah. They look cool. Josh look, quickly opens her eyes and looks away from Sir Elliot. I stare deeper. No, I, look, <laughs> I, look, I, look, I look away. I look away. And I look, because she's looking at me, though. <laughs> like, her, her entire goal right now is, ah, to make, ah. is make sure people don't see one, it. One more addendum to our, our agreement. 
I do get to bring my pet along, correct? Yeah. Your what? what? Your pet? I, I have a, a dear companion that I've had for some years now. Uh, cuddles. She's the sweetest creature I have known. She is protective, but if you are protecting me, I can convince her not to attack you. A uh, deer? She gives, she gives a nod. I think I have, we can all agree to that, yes? I have a pet snake. I, not what, pet, is, but... what is a cuddles? It is my best friend. What type of creature is it, though? Oh, don't worry, it's watching you right now. Aaron looks don't around. Make anything. I, I look at the Investigation checks. Look at so. Investigation. I'm guessing Ariana would have seen it on the 24 passive. No, you would not have. <laughs> because it's 26. Not, not perception. Elliot, you look right in the back corner and there's some sort of like. It looks like it was like a balcony once, but it looks like there's pillows and stuff in there and it's been made up to be kind of probably where she sleeps, but she sleeps with this thing. And you just see a pair of eyes. Similar to cat's eyes, look at you. And you hear a growl, a low growl. But then you see oh. another set of eyes and another set of eyes, all looking at you. It's okay, Kettles, they have not done anything mean yet. Oh, God. I'm sure we can assure you're safe. Go ahead. I just want to look towards where the gravel mm -hmm. was covered. Can Irina try to perceive what it is? Sure. Not perceive, uh... Or something. Give me nature. To know. Both of us? Yeah. I'll let you get on this as well. Thank <gasps> you. Yeah, I've since you already saw it, yeah. Maybe she'd seen it in her mother's forest, since her mother did uh, house a lot of beasts. It's not a beast. Really? It's a monstrosity. Monstrosity. Oh. I rolled an 11. I saw. Arena, you heard of three headed animals before? Alchemical mm -hmm. creations? There's a chimera up there. Oh. Arena would know chimeras. Probably. They were in. The forest from her mother's you home, well, used to be homeland. She was told to stay away from him. It's okay. Like I said, until you post me a threat, she will stay up there. She's my best friend. She won't. She won't. You, she, you, you can. She, is she completely t tamed? I would I'm, imagine she. We've been friends she, for a long time. Uh, okay. That's so believable. I have a, I have a s snake that's. Eyes up, guardian. That's uh. Thanks for sub, Nasi. Throwing that hood up, walking away, not looking like the explosion. Yeah. <laughs> Very well then. Shake it on with it. Or... Elliot is going to take out his long sword and hold it in both hands, so I don't have my shield. Okay. And he's going to activate his flame right and nod. Okay. Uh, best of luck, of course. I mean, either way, I, I exit out on top. So. But you all, well, most of you seem okay. Looks at Justin again. Sorry, smiles. She stares into her eyes again, so she, cause she, she, cause she already knows she, she's fine with letting her get a glimpse. I'm telling you, it will leave your control. Left to right, guys. Ready to she go. kind of rolls the, the, that bright blue vial in her hand again. 
I offer it to you now. As a show of good faith if you want it. I think I can hold off, thank you. Very well. Continue to be an abomination. She chuckles. I will. Thank you. It goes back can to I you. do what it's all about? Because abomination. What, what about it? What were you asking? Can I do some kind of ch check? Uh, the, it's the, not really a, a check per se. You because of, she's she's calling Jocelyn abomination because she's affected by wild magic and does not want to cure it. Oh, okay. That's you know, there's no kind of check needed in that that aspect. Okay. Elliot just leans over to Josh Jocelyn and whispers in her ear and says, "You know the thing that I am. We mostly kill abominations." And taps her on the shoulder and says, "Let's get on with this." Chief. Right, right Chief. Over. But do you hear an abomination as well? It's the greatest hypocrisy now. She chuckles to Sir Elliot. You come an abomination to find, to deal with the abomination enemy. Josh, Jocelyn gestures Sir Elliot yeah, forward. Jo Jocelyn gestures Sir Elliot cool. forward. As the part, or uh, asking the party, are we going left or right, guys? Yeah, two uh, options to exit. We, we know which one's the. Uh... The left goes out to two doors, she said. The right goes out one door. The left will take. Yes, to that. The left and right. The left will take you to a bigger alley. The right will take you to a smaller alley. The, the oh, battlefield the with them is is going to be the same either way. It's whether you're, oh, okay. you're wanting more back, more room on one side or more room on the other. Or you could split and go one-on-one -on -one and hit them and kind of get into the lines. It's up to you. Well, we could either split the party in threes or we can... Stick together. Stick and together? I'm going to go left. If we, I... Yes, right, yeah, I'm we're going to go left. 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 Right. Okay. Elliot will just say this now. I've not been much combat with any of you, so please stick together. Back line stays in the back. Frontliners who can stay in the front stay in the front. And if you see an enemy that one of us is trying to take down quickly, gang up on it and be done with it. Aaron and Oz. So, so, Elliot, you may go right next to the door. Put it yourselves in the order that you're, you're thinking you're going to approach him, and then I'll open the two doors. Okay, my Wi-Fi seems to be dropping a bit again. So I'm going to be, like, either back or second to back. Okay. Grady, I think you should be up front since you're a fighter. <coughs> I'm a cleric. Get two clerics in this group. Oh. Erin, is it true? I was, she I, could I, got I was thinking of red. I don't know why. Grady and Jocelyn. Mm. You swear that something touches you as you walk by. Could I look around? Look around. Don't see anything. <laughs> I guess up. I'm just too short. I look down to. I like look around more towards the ground. There's nothing down there at all. Blood. Some pus. Mm. She's on guard now. Alright, moving my character around so you guys can position yourself however you want. Interwebs, please. Alex, as you, as you, just before you get to the door, you also f swear you feel it. Irina, you feel, you, sw you swear you feel it twice. Sunny, you swear you feel it three times. What? Irina looks... What is it exactly? It feels like some, something just touched you. Pixie? Took your, like, hit, hit your leg or something. You walk by it, but you're right. Pixies, are you? Those are not pixies. Pixies? Oh, where? You're going to say. Come out, little uh, pixies. I heard your dust is phenomenal. Ah. Uh, must be my imagination. Do you hear that, Cuddles? You might be able to bring me a pixie or two. You hear just oh. this thing move, kind of stretch. And you hear the three distinct kind of yawns from it. Oh. Oh, 
ออกมาเองโอเคคีเรนน่าน่าจะรู้ว่าพวกเขาไม่ชอบไปที่นี่เขาเรียนได้ดีทั้งหมดสิบสองคุณเห็นสิ่งที่ปรากฏบนพื้นดินที่มีคนยืนอยู่บนพื้นดินนั่นหมายความว่าพวกเขาไม่มีสิทธิ์ที่จะถูกจับได้ขอบคุณครับรู้ขอบคุณครับ I was, I was seemingly not prepared for archers. Of course, I roll bad. I gotta move my car real quick. This is a really small area. Also, Elliot, I was not back in a second. Get in his car. So I have Grady, Alex, Serena, Sir Elliot, Joshua. I'm working on it. Signing Sunny Sheep to Craig, or when you're not able to. Thank you. Same changes, same. Craig, can you roll initiative, please? Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. There you go. Uh, you did not click the token, did you? No, I didn't. I got you. I got you. Don't need to roll. Sorry. No, that's fine. At least it's rolled. Elliot, are you back? I'm back. You also hear one other thing. You hear it sounds, what? It's not that, whatever it was in the background. You hear what sounds <laughs> like a young lady crying, scared. All of you hear a whistle, which means they've spotted you, and they're going to start moving. How high are these uh, buildings? They're about 20, 25 feet to the roof. Shoot. Because most of them have a second story. Just, I'm not putting two maps up. Sorry. I have the maps for some of them, but not for trying to run this much at once. Not a problem. I'll, Trust I'll me, next time you get to the maps, we'll probably have all three floors of them. For some things. So, the turn's done. Sunny. Oh. Can I? Uh, would I be able to reach them with a uh, sunbolt? Like you're still inside right now. Oh, I then I will kind of move out. I guess. Well, you need to move to, to 
30. To get a good line on them, you need to move 45 feet. But still be in a safe place? Safe relatively? What's your movement speed? Uh, 50. I mean, you'd be at that corner. Be that partial cover. I need to speak up a little bit, sorry. I'm trying to figure things out here. I'm red boxed at current. Putting it to him. Okay. I just have to up your volume, I couldn't hear you as well. Okay. Uh, uh, right, where, where would I be? You need to go up all the way around the corner here, up here. All the way, I can't see because I'm red boxed at the moment. can see. Okay. That would be 45 movement to the end of that line. You could shoot, and then you'd go back to the square. Yeah, that sounds okay, I guess. I can't see anything, but okay. I know you can't. They're on the roof. I, I have them inside the house. No, no, no. I mean, like, I can't see... I'm telling Fal that. Okay. She can't see them. There are four arches up there. We'll call them red, blue, green, orange. Okay. Whichever one would be closest to her, I guess. Red, red is the closest Okay, then. To. Okay, then. Sunbolt that dude, and then... What? What? It's the Hadouken. Hadouken! <laughs> it should be a it should be one of the buttons to click on there. It says sunbolt. Mm-hmm. So right at sunbolt is point. the attack. You ready? Go ahead. Uh thirteen, you just kinda throw it at arcs past them, they move out of the head out of the way, draw their bow. And moving back, that is your turn. Uh-huh. Okay, Grady. I'm still looking through my weapons. Or my uh, spells. Trying to remember what is what. Spirit Guardians. There's n none down slow, are there? None that I've been able none, to see. Yeah, not, not at this moment. None that you can see at this moment, I should say. Uh, I'll say from where you are, you can see everyone. But just be aware that with that person that screamed, if they if they come running towards you, your spirit guardian's going to tear them apart. Okay. I know you're you're new to playing clerics here. That's the one. It's, uh, what, 15 feet, right? 15, yes. Just be aware that if they come running towards you, I'll give you the option to drop it. Because literally, spirit guardians will tear an NPC apart. I see. Okay. You can only do, you can only focus on people that you see at the time of the casting. That's okay. the one problem with that spell. It's the balance to it. It's really nice. Yeah, it, it's the a way to. And that would be me. Okay. That moves to Sir Elliot. Spartans. I now have control of the Yeah. Okay. Sparts. Sparts? Sparks? I think he said he had to move his car. Oh. Right it's all sorts of loud in his house. Okay, I have a quick question while that's going on. Uh, wind wall. Can I start? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Start that oh. roof. Oh my. Uh, I'd have to look at it. Can we see them? Uh, you know that they're up around the corner. I'm gonna Where wait. you are currently now. Okay. Smart for your. Yeah, you can see them up on this roof right here. Alright, I'm gonna fire bolts. Okay. There's red, blue, green, orange. None seen in here. I'm gonna do red. Okay. Eleven just streaks by them, explodes in the air. Alright. 
thing. Is, that's, I'm gonna just gonna keep moving up. Okay. As you do. On the initial that's 30. Of okay. You hear that screaming again. Oh god, please help, they're coming for me! And she turns around. This corner. Her hands look like they've been chained. She looks like there's some bubbling on her forehead. Please help! She kind of looks at you, seeing if you're going to let her pass or not. She hasn't double moved yet. I would probably not let her pass. She takes a step towards you. She sees you raise your shield. Oh, I don't have a shield. I have a, just my sword. Well, you raise your sword in a threatening manner. Then. And she just gets... And just 5, 10, 15, 20... No, like, it's not even say it's dangerous over here. You don't want to come over She's here. She's got okay. nowhere to go. <laughs> you just forcing her back towards him. Uh, Elliot. I'm gonna take some attacks here. What's okay. Your, what is your current AC? 19. Wait, what's plate mail? What's up? H. Here. Yeah, 19 then. 19, 19. So, some longbow shots. That one will definitely hit. Number one. Number two, misses. Uh, number three, definitely hits. Number four, definitely hits. Five, definitely hits. Six, misses. Seven, misses. Eight, he shoots his buddy in the back. Let me deal with the guy shooting the guy in the back first. For 23 damage. Double net ones. <laughs> yeah. So there are, let's see, in order. Alright, so Red pulls his bow. Firing the first one. You attempt to get, turn your plate mill to catch it, and it catches you and slices right across your next parts for a critical hit. Ooh. How much damage in total? Hold on. I gotta add the sneak attack. Because they get it just once per round. They don't have to beat the other stuff. Uh, Angrily shakes fists in the air. 23... Sorry, 13, 20, 30... 41 points of damage out there. Oh, that's not bad. First arrow. So that's this one. The second one... As you kind of reel one hand off your sword kind of trying to make sure that, you know, you don't need to patch yourself up. Two more. Throw your hand into your neck. Two more critical hits. These guys want to hit you. I'll give you the damage from the, this total one. Uh, all at once, okay? Not 87, 8 plus 7. Because you don't have any resistance to poison, correct? There's no save, it's just poison damage. Yeah. Those two arrows impact into you, dealing another 75 points of damage. The third archer, as you try and rip these out, them sticking in your hand, puts another one through your plate mail for the fourth critical hit on you in the opening salvo. Oh my gosh! Sev! Are they champions or something? Holy! No, they're all not actual natural 20s. For another Wait, how much? Of how much was the the last one? Seventy five for the second one, forty four for the third one. Okay, I'm down. Yeah, yeah. stop being good. <laughs> and then the fourth one sh misses you wide and then shoots his buddy in the back, right in the spine, for double net ones. Yeah, I'm Four down on the forty. Double double net ones. <laughs> I'm down on the on that one. The, the 44 oh, one. Oh, it's good that it wasn't a death death fail. Mm -hmm. You hear Congrats. a door swing open. In 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He gets to there. You see a second one, Sunny, going around the corner. I'm going to chase after her. And he's got reach. Oh, no. So he's gonna make you're gonna get partial cover on the stack because I feel it's right. 
18 AC. So I'm going to call it a 20 AC because he's attacking you around the corner. He's you know, trying to get his weapon around. It's not an easy okay. attack. Okay. However, that doesn't matter. On the first one. The second one misses you. The first one hits you in a really bad spot. You'll take 22 damage as he criticals you around the corner. Oh my gosh. Seth, quit criticaling. Holy crap. Be happy they don't have advantage. Because that second one would have crit her too. Oh, oh man. Josh. Okay. Alright, let's just see. So from here. 15. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the enemies may have known they're coming. I think the highest stealth roll was a 10 the entire night. Uh, no, mine was higher. No, but I'm saying, you know, you guys were yeah. terrible stealth as a group the entire night. Yeah. Not the group. So they, they were going to be ready. They had responded to Twitch chat. So bonus action. Healing word to, miss, to the down Elliot. Okay, what level? Four. Alright. 16 back. 16 healing to Elliot. Her words are down already. Come on. We have more work to do. As she just stands here. And she is going to hold a spell in case one of the enemies sh show up in her line of sight. Okay. I just need to look at what your line of sight is. Uh, clipping so it would be behind Sunny. Okay. The I can't put him on the outside, otherwise you wouldn't see walls. Try, yeah, try to get the So just that's why I did the line of sight. So just so you know, it would be like in Sunny Square or behind her. So, okay. So okay. 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 Yep. Thank you. Uh, you hear the the faithful clicking of um healed shoes is slowly around one looks to the down deli oh dear you're no fun already down she's gonna make a perception check to see if she can see sunny around the corner sunny roll me a stealth oh gosh oh i figured i'd let you contest it she rolled high nope <laughs> Sunny! Hi. Yeah. Hi. You're a human, right? Uh-huh. I'd like a charisma saving throw. Okie dokie. I am really, really crap at them. Nope! S sweet whispers in your ear, Sunny. Gosh, As your true friend, your true love in this life, is this enchantress. Gosh dang it, I have to turn. <sighs> and she just says, Oh, dear, come here, please. Come here. <laughs> Elliot, roll a superior healing roll as... as a Pira channels Torm to your aid. Thank you, Fallen. Thank you, Fallen. Thank you, Fallen. Thank you, Fallen. Mm -hmm. Irina, it's your turn. Ooh. Yes. Um. Ah. Okay. She has a speed of thirty. She's up. Nope. Thirty-five. So she will. She doesn't know exactly what's going on. Things are going on. They definitely are going on. Um. Yeah. She'll see what's going. On. She doesn't see anything. 